Hi everyone, I'm Phil Tedesco, CEO of RI Realtors. I hope you're all having a great summer. It's the best time of year here in the Ocean State. I've got a few updates for you and some news you can use in the months ahead. First, did you know statewide MLS turned 50 on August 3rd? I want to thank everyone who joined us at Harbor Lights in Warwick to celebrate our 50 year anniversary. We had a great time looking back at how far we've come. For five decades, we've managed to weather economic ups and downs in a constantly changing real estate industry. And for the past 18 years, we did so without a fee increase. That's one cost that hasn't gone up. At least we can be thankful for the MLS. We'll be heading into our next 50 years with a new strategic plan built on our strengths, data, tools, and services. We are larger than we've ever been before. Currently, we have over 7,200 participants and subscribers. We're taking a hard look at how to improve our structure, expand your services, and reach and increase your efficiency through enhanced core technologies and AI, artificial intelligence. We'll be making a focused effort to educate your clients about the importance of the MLS, increasing your value as a realtor. In June, we completed our strategic plan with industry powerhouse T360, and they'll be working with us to bring plan to fruition. On the legislative front, the Rhode Island Association of Realtors Government Affairs Committee acted on 75 bills during the past legislative session and had three bills introduced on our behalf. Of those, I'm happy to report that remote online notarization is now permanent, which will help to save you time in your transactions. We were also successful in passing changes to legislation regarding accessory dwelling units. The applications for small-scale ADU development proposals are now streamlined and they'll no longer need to be occupied by a family member. One more quick update for those of you involved in short-term rentals. All rentals that will be listed on a host platform such as Airbnb or VRBO and rented for not more than 30 nights will be required to register with the Rhode Island Department of Business Regulation as a result of the new law that went into effect earlier this year. So to implement this new law, DBR has proposed new regulations, which you can read about on the news section of our website. The deadline for commenting on the proposed regulations is August 27th, and you could do so right from our site. Finally, I don't have to tell you that the market is changing. For many prospective buyers, the rapid rise in interest rates has put the brakes on their home search. It's a good time to educate your sellers because the days of multiple offers, thousands of dollars over asking price are likely coming to an end. Prices are still rising, but price appreciation will moderate more as the previous frantic pace of sales winds down. There's a ton of market data you can access through the homepage on rirealtors.org that can help manage your clients' expectations. And while you're on the site, check out our education calendar. Now's the time to stay sharp in your business, and we have the courses that can help you do just that. With that said, as the summer winds down, I hope your schedules afford you to, the opportunity to enjoy time with friends and family and enjoy the last weeks of summer here in the Ocean State. Thank you.